Hi folks, this is Dennis and today I'm going to review a, uh, a couple of products and see how well they work together. Uh, first of all, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take a Malibu landscape lighting rock, which uh, I bought at Home Depot. I think Home Depot is about the only place that actually sells these. And I'm going to uh, take that and I'm going to attempt to retrofit it from the normal 35 watt 12 volt MR16 bulb that it comes with. I can get this box open, I'll show you what that looks like. And you've probably seen these in a lot of track lighting and and uh, maybe in some projectors. And and these, as I said, are 35 watts. They traditionally come with these, but what I'm going to attempt to do is retrofit it with an LED bulb. And that LED bulb that I've selected is the EcoSmart LED bulb. It says it's equivalent to 20 uh, to a 20 watt LED. Uh, it actually says it produces 295 lumens of light and according to the little fact sheet here on the back it says it's in a 3000 degrees Kelvin uh, color temperature range which is uh, a warmer uh, sense than you usually get. A lot of LED bulbs uh, produce a very blue light uh, but these actually do produce a very uh, pleasing light. I've got uh, the larger version installed in my kitchen. Now you would think that, that was a, this would be a fairly simple thing to do that uh, because one of the popular things and, and it's almost a myth is that LED bulbs run very cool. Well it's true that they may not produce a, as much uh, heat from the light end of it but they do get extremely warm and in the case of these EcoSmart bulbs and, and I've actually mounted one into the rock already I'll take it out here so you can see it. These bulbs <clears throat> have lots of fins on here and these aren't just to give it a cool look. These are to help dissipate heat because unlike uh, the traditional MR16 halogen bulb, these bulbs are very sensitive to temperature. Uh, they have a, uh, a light engine inside of here that essentially equates to a small computer. It's uh, mounted on a chip and as you all probably know heat is the enemy of electronics and so uh, these bulbs I do have these uh, in another place in my house but they're in a place where they're fairly open and well ventilated but they are still get very hot to the touch um, you can't really hold them for uh, any length of time because they are so hot and they do radiate so much heat so the question becomes uh, if you look at the inside of the Malibu rock you can see here that that it's got a uh, a container essentially and it has three holes in the bottom and that's the only ventilation that it provides and those holes actually transfer through this rock to three holes that are on the back or actually the, these end up being on the bottom of the um, of the rock itself now it's called a rock you know it has a stone finish but it's actually made of polyresin it feels pretty hard and it is pretty much like a rock and and it is sealed watertight at least on the top, with the exception of those holes on the on the bottom there that lead to the bottom. So there's not much chance of water entering it, but that also means that airflow is very extremely limited. Now uh, you can see there with the lens in place, uh, it's got my nice fingerprints all over it. But um, one of the neat things about it that I have found is that I did do a t preliminary test of this bulb inside of the rock, ran it for several hours. And uh, first, the bulb does fit, which that's very important, you know, the physical fit of it in there. And it just barely fits. It's a little bit tall, but it still fits in there well enough. And you can see it, it fits in the hole. And then we just put this over the top, screw it down into place, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So the question, though, becomes over time, and, and even though it may run for a couple of hours, uh, what really happens to the bulb over time. Now these bulbs, according to the package, it says they're rated for 35,000 hours of life. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, uh, if they really lasted 35,000 hours, uh, I might be dead before this thing actually burns out. But, um, but the reality is that these bulbs are, are pretty well made. Um, you know, you'll read online occasionally uh, that they'll go out and you know that that happens with uh, other bolts too but they also have an extremely long warranty I believe that these are actually have a uh, 
three-year warranty that goes with them. And these are actually manufactured by Lighting Science Group. It's uh, part of their Definity line. EcoSmart, though, is the brand that is uh, sold at Home Depot. And so I'm going to try to hook this up, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. I'll show you what it looks like in the rock, and then I'll also show you at night. And then at some point here in the future, uh, when and if they do uh, go out and they don't last, I'll let you know that. Now, these are uh, a fairly expensive proposition. I mean, you can pick these, these little things up for, you know, just a couple of bucks. But an Eco Smart Bulb, I paid something like $19.97, I think, at Home Depot, and I've got two of these rocks. One of the cool things, though, is if they do work, uh, it will allow you to save in other areas. For instance, the, the transformer that goes, that, that I happen to be using, is a 45 watt Malibu transformer. And you can see the, uh, see the box here. Uh, that's from Malibu. And normally, I would have to use the 100 watt transformer because two 35 watt bulbs equals 70 watts. That's more than 45. And so in order to be safe, I'd have to use a larger transformer. But since these LED bulbs only draw six watts, I'm able to get away with using a much smaller transformer. So we're going to see if it works. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't think there's much danger of these actually catching fire or anything like that. And, you know, the rock is, is intended to take uh, high heat anyway because these bulbs, the other bulbs that I'm replacing, do get very, very hot but they are actually designed and intended to run very hot and so they're made to withstand very high heat. Not so in the case of the LEDs. Even though they get extremely warm, they're not really supposed to run hot because, uh, as I've said before, heat is the enemy of electronics. Okay, now here we see the LED bulb actually in action. I've uh, hooked it up and I've uh, tricked the photocell into thinking that it's nighttime by actually placing it inside of a, of a little pouch to block the light, but uh, you can see they do work. Uh, you know, it's tough to tell from the light here, but it does produce a fairly pleasing light. Um, I'm really curious as to how it's going to look in the uh, nighttime. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this in an outside garden area. You can see out here uh, it's sort of a little courtyard type thing that uh, we're trying to decorate with some plants and uh, try to light it up at night. We intend to get a a water fountain to put out there which should look pretty cool and so these I think will make a, a nice addition to the the area kind of brighten it up make it look pretty at night and the photocell of course will help save me a little bit of electricity by going on at uh, dusk and then off in the morning at dawn so I think at least this is a worthy effort and hopefully these LED bulbs will work and uh, and that we'll have good Long life at uh, low economical operating cost, 12 watts of power versus 70 watts that these would normally draw. And uh, if that's the case, I think this will ultimately pay for itself over time. Thank okay, you. and here we see the finished product here. I've uh, mounted the transformer on the wall, plugged it into my outdoor electric outlet, and then I ran the photocell all the way up the wall here to a place where it gets plenty of light uh, during the daytime because this is an enclosed uh, courtyard type area and there's the finished rock light and then at uh, dusk the light will turn on and will illuminate my garden here which is great exactly what I'm hoping to do here's the other one over in the other corner probably need to do a better job of hiding those electric cords but uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way this came out I gave it a test run it seems to work good, so I'll report back here uh, and see how these bulbs uh, last over the long haul, and hopefully they'll turn out to be a good retrofit fit that will save some money and save some electricity and also give a, a good, useful life. Thanks for watching.